So okay, in this tutorial I will show you how to install plugins for your server and I will use Bucket so you're gonna go to bucket.org and uh, if you're watching this tutorial I expect you to have done all the other steps in my other tutorials yeah uh, okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to you're gonna go to bucket.org you're gonna go to documentation after that you're gonna go and uh, download the latest one yeah uh, this is the one build eight, uh, 818 at the moment this is the latest one they recommend you to use my uh, build 803 but that build is for minecraft 1.5 so yeah and I'm using 1.6.6 so yeah okay when you download that you're gonna place that in your minecraft server and you're also gonna change the start server dot bat I'm just gonna get the code from my other server right here okay so this is the code you will need uh, remove the pause wait there we go okay so you're gonna edit the thing and you're gonna do like that okay control s and close that one down uh, next off now when you got this you will make a folder called plugins in this folder you will place all your plugins quite easy to understand right okay now we're gonna download some plugins so we're gonna go back to bucket 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 why isn't bucket dot org there we go you gotta go to get plugins and here you can search you can click and search or something uh, I like to use sheep color sheep tie dye sheep I don't know maybe it is Here we got some screenshots. Yeah, this is how the sheep will look like. So I'm gonna download this. Save file. Uh, maybe we want some more. Maybe we want like. I don't know. I don't know what you want. Ah, I don't know what to find here, maybe... Yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. We are just gonna install this one. So you just place that into plugins, and then you start your server. You see now Flame Boy and Flock version 0 0.2 is enabled. If you have placed in a new plugin and you don't want to restart your server, you can just type reload. This will reload all your plugins. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to start Minecraft. Yeah, this is the correct version. This happens sometimes okay this doesn't usually happen this much oh my god are you fucking serious I'm gonna pause this and just when I paused it worked I, I don't know what the fuck is going on now the sheeps should look straight okay that's a white sheep this is strange I don't know how much you see of this because now I'm recording with hypercam since I'm too lazy to turn that off and record with fraps. Oh, here's my pickaxes from the tutorial. Good for me. Hey, where's my shovel? I want my shovel. Oh, I got the shovel.
Okay, yes, because I want to show. I'm gonna pause this in tutorial. Finally, I found some sheep with some nice colors. Here's a white one again. But here we got like a lime, I think it is called. Yeah, and then we got a. I don't know. And then over there we got the blue one. So yeah, um, okay. Now I'm gonna tell you something about the plugin version. Version. Disconnect, close this down. So as you may recall, we downloaded a plugin loader from Bucket with the build of 18, now 818. And if you go to get plugins, you can see that some says 818, some says 803. And this is basically made for the build that is 803. And just because that it is made for another build, doesn't mean that you cannot use it. I mean, I used uh, I use a build for 760 something on my other server, 766. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So yeah, this is uh, yeah. Just uh, what you're gonna do really is just install the plugin. If your server doesn't start, remove it. Try to start it then. And if it starts, then the plugin doesn't really work. But then also, if it does start. It doesn't. It isn't sure that your plugin does work because then it. Uh, well, basically, you what you're gonna do in game? You're gonna try it out, and then you may get some error messages in this console. Yeah. Also, when you're using Bucket, uh, the plugin loader, you will not get a window like you had before. But yeah, you're gonna live with that. So thank you for watching this tutorial on how to get plugins to your server. I hope it helped and I'm also going to make some more tutorials on other plugins and stuff like that. See you later guys. Bye bye.